go. Now think about taking those shoulder blades apart, lifting up through the chest to the sky, and coming back down, squeezing. This would be Bring quite hard to coordinate to start with. I want people with shoulder down to the ground. Squeeze that shoulder blade slightly just for a second or two, and then coming back up. We're going to repeat that, that for 30 okay, seconds on each side. As I think about that, it sinks down, but I'm still locking up my elbow. Then from there, dropping my hands down. the shoulders, wide feet. You're going to try and grab onto your shoulder for three to five seconds, but really driving the hands on the ground, drive it into the ground. Nice and strong. You're going to know my name. Yeah, you're going to know my name. Get it up. I have to hinge. I have to hinge to get that kettlebell through my legs. Feel free to stay and stretch to other any, any stretches you like. I'm going to let this music run. Really hope you like that workout. Please like, comment on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next workout. Hey guys, Troy here with another video. A couple of key aspects to this video today I want to explain first. The theme of it is shoulder mobility, strength and stability. So I'm going to structure the workout at the first part is going to be shoulder mobility exercises for the first 15 minutes. Now you'll see that each exercise is super set of opted for like two or three sets, probably not enough volume for someone with chronic shoulder issues. So you'll see in the description below, I put timestamps there. So if you repeat that shoulder mobility section for about 15 minutes, hit the timestamp again and maybe repeat it. If you've got shoulder mobility problems, you can repeat it and get a good workout for 30 minutes on the shoulders. I'm then gonna work into our normal kettlebell workout routine today. So if you wanna skip that first part, jump into the timestamp straight into the kettlebell workout. It's going to be a heavy and light version for total body, so you'll see two choice here at some point. And then I'm gonna move on to some corrective exercises for the shoulders. Whole point of that is being at the end of the workout, you do not wanna fatigue your stabilizers and then go into a kettlebell workout, so that's why it's at the end. So you can also choose to timestamp that and jump straight to that part of the workout. We're then gonna finish with a nice stretch. It was a very popular, very nice to open up the hips at the end of my previous video, so we decided to do that again. This is gonna be a pretty good workout. It's gonna take roughly an hour but feel free to jump to those points that you're interested in, and now let's get after it. Okay, first exercise we're getting into, put your hands directly underneath your shoulders, sit back onto your heels into what's called a lumbar lock position, hand, firm grip around your neck, try and get both elbows to touch, reach and look to the sky as much as you can, and we're gonna rotate just for 30 seconds each way. Staying in that lumbar lock position, so sitting on your heels, because you wanna focus on opening up your thoracic spine first. little break we're gonna get back into the other side so hands underneath the shoulders double check that is it and then get into that lumbar lock position Rip the neck again elbows touch some people might think we're crazy but crazy is all we've known it's probably that they just ain't ready that's why they're going up in smoke we're giving this all Okay, next one, we're gonna work on retracting and protracting those shoulder blades as much as we can. So you're gonna sink the shoulder blades together as far as they will go. And you think about taking those shoulder blades apart, lifting up through the chest to the sky, and coming back down, squeezing. This would be quite hard to coordinate to start with. I find people with shoulder issues don't really know how to move those shoulder blades back and forth. So you're gonna have some problems to start with. And just work at it. Over time, you can feel more freedom through those shoulder blades moving back and forth. It's not through the low back, if you can see. It's all coming from the shoulder blades retracting and protracting apart. Okay, we're gonna repeat that one more time. So lumbar lock position, hands still underneath the shoulders, grab onto the back of the neck. We'll start a little bit early, both elbows touch, and look to the sky.
make it, you better remember that only the strongest survive Give it your all and be willing to die for the reason that you are alive Answer the call when you get it or are you gon' be is to be left behind It's see is believing, don't leave them a reason to leave Leave it all on the line Ain't about to buy what they selling me No time for the lies that they telling me Not waiting for handouts, I know where I'm going I'm leading the charge like a felony So let the haters keep spitting their venom and thinking it cuts like a knife They fuel in the fire, the passion's ignited Can't stop me from shining cause now is my time Giving this all we've got Okay, so the next one you need to care about, this one's called an iron child. It's just a stretch for the lats and the shoulders. So you're gonna sit back onto your heels again, but you're gonna think about dropping your chest down to the ground, keeping your arms straight. And just stretch. Keeping your arms straight, sitting back onto your heels. Okay, then we're gonna move on to a kneeling halo. So with a kneeling halo, we're gonna really work on the stretch. So take that kettlebell back behind you, you're opening up your chest, come back around, and really open up that chest at the back, and come back around. And then we're gonna go the other direction. Okay, we're gonna repeat those two more times.
Okay, so the next one you're going to go into a kneeling windmill. Now, because it's, it's only 30 seconds, I want to explain it before we start. So, same side as the kettlebell, the leg is in front. Straight to the side on a windmill here. Now, when you think about when you're looking at the kettlebell top here, I'm going to think about squeezing my shoulder blades together slightly. So, the shoulder blade retraction again. Before I come back to the middle and I push back up. So, it's just improving that mobility and stability through the shoulder. Down to the ground. Squeeze that shoulder blade slightly just for a second or two then coming back up. We're going to repeat that for 30 seconds on each side. So another one I want to run through, I actually have done a version of this in one of my really old videos for shoulder mobility, but we're going to do a bottoms up version. So I'm going to show you from this angle. So we're going to try and balance that kettlebell up. Now if you can see how my shoulders, my left one that's holding this kettlebell is slightly elevated, the whole idea with an arm bar is trying to get that shoulder blade down. So what I like to do is lift my hips up and think about sinking that shoulder into the ground. Now you'll see as I think about that, it sinks down, but I'm still locking up my elbow. Then from there, dropping my hips down, and we're going to stay there for 30 seconds. I like to stay here. There's different versions you can do because you're trying to rotate that humerus into the acromion. So you can rotate like that if you like, but making sure it's coming from the whole humerus, moving back and forth. But I do recommend if you're a beginner, just starting to feel that sink and relaxing all those muscles into that part of the socket. So that's a kettlebell armbar. That's a version we're going to do. I have done a version like this before, which is probably if your kettlebell's too heavy to hold up like that, if you don't have a lighter one, you can do this version. Again, you need to go hips up, shoulder back and down, and sit, just think that sinking in there. We're going to do this for 30 seconds on each side. leg forward because now I'm doing the other side.
is coming Chaos is coming down It's gonna Some things you can't forgive Board up every door We won't outlast the storm Chaos is coming It's gonna rain One, shoulder taps, quite a challenging one. So you're gonna get into a high plank position, hands underneath the shoulders, wide feet. And you're gonna try and grab onto your shoulder for three to five seconds, but really driving the hands on the ground, drive it into the ground, nice and strong. Then we're gonna change, and just five seconds in your head, holding, alternating, driving that hand into the ground, five seconds.
Now I'm just gonna change the position of that kneeling windmill. So what you're gonna do, see my back foot, I'm gonna tuck it under a little bit more. I'm gonna sit onto my heel. Now that's gonna change the position that my shoulder has to get into. Still that slight shoulder blade squeeze. Then push up and keep that leg like that. You're gonna sit back, drop down, and push up. Back first. to that shoe, squeeze the shoulder blade. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the workout now. Feel free to hit, go to the time stamp and repeat that again if you like. Otherwise, let's move on to the workout. So now we're on to our strength part. It's going to be five rounds. I'm looking to try to get five reps of a clean and a squat to press in that 35 seconds with a 10 second break. And I repeat that five times. On this side, you're trying to get five clean and presses on each side in 35 seconds with a 10 second break, five rounds. Okay, here we go.
Okay, I'm going to break that up for a second before we move into our circuit. There's a couple of exercises that you've probably never seen me do before or have never seen done before. I want to run through those real quick. First one is going to be one swing, one lunge. So as we swing, on that second swing, we're actually going to go into that same side leg, going back into a little lunge, and we go into another one. So swing, and then a lunge. That's one exercise. Next exercise is going to be a bent over row, changing hands with the kettlebell each time. So you're going to be bent over, you're going to be rowing, but make sure that kettlebell almost comes to the ground every time, that you flick it up high enough to change hands. Now that's that one. The next one is a dangerous one I've been talking about. Just wanted to let you know, I have been adding this to my routine lately. I do find it quite effective because I know how to hinge properly, but I feel a lot on my front hamstring. I feel a lot of obliques. I does feel it works. My QL on one side, really feel that really good strength in your core. So it's actually going to be a kettlebell swing on a 45 degree angle. Kettlebell is going to go between the legs. So like I mentioned, if you do not have to know how to hinge properly, this kettlebell is going to hit the floor every time. It's quite dangerous, especially for you guys out there. You might be a little bit scared right now, so don't hate me for it. We're going to do a push pull on this side if you're not confident. So what it looks like. Here's my 45 degree angle that I'm looking for. I'm going to swing that through and get it up. I have to hinge. I have to hinge to get that kettlebell through my legs. You can see that's quite challenging for me. We're going to do that for 35 seconds. That's the only exercise I want to run you through. The other ones, you will see the preview window as we go. And let's get after this workout. Change my ways, but I live just to see you break. 
week I'm a sucker for adrenaline Every villain is You take the high road, I'll take the low Everyone lies cause everyone knows Feels good to be A challenging one. Get this kettlebell up. The key is almost be lying on your back and a slight turn. Don't get on your side too much as you bring those knees in. You'll feel this really intensely on the oblique that the kettlebell is up in the air with. Let's take about a minute break. We're going to repeat that two more times.
unsubscribed from your junk mail long ago It's time, I'm sorry, I only trust about three people And you ain't one of them My apologies if I managed to hurt your fragile ego
Okay, the other part's done. Run to our corrective exercise side of things. So I want to teach you a couple of things first. We're going to be in a bent up position. You're going to hang your arms directly underneath your shoulders, but don't lose that posture. You're actually going to start with a shoulder roll. So your shoulders are slightly go to your ears. They'll go back, back and down away from your ears. Can you keep those shoulder blades back and down? Shoulders away from the ears is what I like to use. Your thumbs are going to be pointed out about 45 degrees each side, almost like 10 o'clock and two o'clock. And you take your arms up, trying to get past your ear level without those arms straightening. You come back down, and before you repeat, the shoulder roll every time with the shoulder blades are back and down as much as you can, and raise down in a controlled fashion. So I call that the trap three raise, the bent over trap three raise. Next one's gonna be a horizontal horse stance. This one's a little bit easier. Hands underneath the shoulders, neutral spine, not too arched, not too flattened. Raise one arm, the opposite leg out. Make sure the back is not arched too much. Your hips are not hiking up, so they're not open up like this. They're directly level. I'm trying to hold that for five seconds. As we change, hopefully not changing any less spine angles at all, and you're not deviating off to one side, and you can balance. The last one we're gonna move on to is a prone cobra. We're gonna be face down, hands supinated as much as you can. Really trying to squeeze the shoulder blades back and down, shoulder blades away from the ears. Hands to the sky as much as you can, crushing those shoulder blades. Also, last little thing, with that little trap three raise, you can see from the side that the hands getting past the ears probably the most important part. So we're gonna move on. We have three rounds, 35 seconds on each one, moving pretty fast. Okay, bent over, trap three, raise first, shoulder roll. Okay, let's repeat that two more times.
only need one of me for this one. So we're going to go into our pigeon pose. So push up position. Take one leg across up as high as you can. Both hips are square to the ground. Reach down or forward your pick. We're going for a minute and a half on each side. I created hell for myself. I made something that can't be hell. So I could be alone. So I could be alone. I carry my mother's name She said the heart's a game that we don't play So I'll be alone Yeah Staring at the other side, I'm too scared to decide. Okay, change it to the other side. It's different this time. Would she wait for? open the last one so push up position leg outside the hand best you can drop the back knee down you have levels rock onto the outside of shoe and stay here we can take outside elbow down and if you like to both elbows down side.
feel free to stay and stretch to other any, any stretches you like. I'm going to let this music run. Really hope you like that workout. Please like, comment on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next workout.